Hello and welcome to the Team Whole Grain Kitchen. I'm Leslie Walters and I'm going to show you how to make a real heartwarming pudding perfect for these autumn months, especially if you fancy something nourishing and satisfying. It's a Cheerios autumn fruit pudding and for this the fruit I'm using is some plums and some blackberries and they're going to be cooked with some apple juice and brown sugar. So you need a nice big pan to cook it in and you need to get that hot. And then what you want to do is to place your fruit in. Now, because the blackberries cook really quickly, they go in last. So the first thing that's going to go into the pan is going to be the plums and they've been halved, the stones have been removed and they've been cut into quarters. So in they go, along with some sugar. You won't need very much because you'll get a lot of natural sweetness from the fruit, just a little touch and also the apple juice, which of course is sweet as well. So that's going in. Just give it a little bit of a shake so that you start to dissolve the sugar. And then once that happens, you can turn the heat right down, put the lid on the top and then simmer the fruit gently for about eight to 10 minutes until the plums are just soft. The plums are cooked now, so I'm just gonna take off the lid turn off the heat and let's just have a look at them. You can see they're still holding their shape and there's lots of juice in the pan and that's really important. I'm going to add the blackberries and they're just going to get stirred in. You don't need to cook them in the pan because in fact this whole pudding is going to bake in the oven and the blackberries are going to go really soft which is lovely. Okay, this is the best bit, the Cheerios bit. You want to get yourself some coffee cups or some large ramekins and choose coffee cups that can go into the oven. And then you want to take your Cheerios, you want to use half of them and pick them up and then just sprinkle them into the teacup. Now, Cheerios might seem like an unusual ingredient to put into puddings, but they do give the puddings a wonderful flavour and a fantastic crunch. But not only that, because Cheerios contain whole grain, you're going to be giving your family some fibre and vitamins and minerals. Now you want to save some for the top of your pudding. And you then want to take your cooked fruit and you want to ladle that straight over your Cheerios. I'm just going to ladle those in like that. Spoon it in. Preheat your oven to gas mark six, that's about 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The final thing we need to do now is to make the ginger pudding and that's really easy. So in a large mixing bowl you want to take some self-raising flour and some baking powder and then just very very quickly sift them into a bowl. And because this is going to be a very light ginger muffin top we're going to mix together the wet ingredients and then add them to the dry. So we've got some lovely stem ginger which we've just chopped up going in, some semi-skimmed milk, some natural yoghurt going in there, a little bit of the syrup from the stem ginger and an egg and finally just a touch of melted butter. Now that's all the wet ingredients being mixed together. So that's the wet ingredients ready to go into the dry. And just very quickly add it all at once. Don't leave behind any of that ginger. And then just get a large spatula or spoon and gently mix through. Don't over mix. As soon as it's just coming together, you want to stop. And there it is. Next thing is to take your mixture and just top your pudding. Probably best just to use your finger like that. Spoon over the top and then take the remaining Cheerios and sprinkle them over the top. And the last thing you want to do is the reserved ginger syrup. Just drizzle it over the top. 
and that will give an extra bit of sweetness to this with the crunchy Cheerios. And they're now ready to cook. They'll take about 18 to 20 minutes until the sponge is cooked and the fruit bubbling hot and the Cheerios are all crunchy. That's exactly how you want them to look. Look at that. Bubbling hot, risen, lovely crunchy Cheerios on the top. Crunchy Cheerios and bubbling fruit. Served with natural yoghurt or custard. There you have it, Cheerios Autumn Fruit Pudding. And if you'd like more recipe ideas for the kitchen or you'd like to know more about the Nestle recipes, go on to wholegrain.co.uk. All Nestle cereals contain whole grain. Just look for the green banner when you're out and about. Happy cooking. <laughs>